Core tax provides support for iteration, conditional logic, catch exception, URL, forward or redirect response etc. To use GSTL core tags, we should include it in the JSP page using following tag lib directive. In Eclipse IDE, make sure that you are in Java EE perspective and then go to the file and create a new dynamic web project. Uh, in this new dynamic web project wizard, select your project name. Make sure target runtime is selected to Apache Tomcat. Dynamic web module version is selected to 3.1. And all the other defaults, click finish. Expand this JSTL example project. Look, we have these default folders. Go inside web content, web INF. Here is LIB folder. Then copy these two jars, that is gstl.jar and standard.jar files in this LIB folder. If you don't have these two jar files, then go to the links in description section, download these two jar files. Now, I will add these two jar files in my application's build path. So select these two jar files, right click and select build path and then select add to build path. Now I am all set to create my first JSTL example.